The Tobago House of Assembly presented a budget of $3.5 billion just over two months ago, and expectations were high that with Ashworth Jack's affiliation to the People's Partnership Government, Tobago would have gotten close to what it asked for. But Finance Minister Winston Dukaran announced the island would get $2.6 billion. It's $1 billion more than they got last year, but $1 billion less than they asked for. Political leader of the Tobago Organization of the People, Ashworth Jack, who had campaigned with the government, says he's disappointed, but remains convinced they will make the best of it. I still hope that there come a day when we will be closer to the 6.9 than to the 4.03. Mr. Jack says they will continue to negotiate with the government to meet the needs of the sister isle. THA Chief Secretary Orville London, who also listened to the budget in Parliament, told the media the government did not do Tobago any favours. I am neither disappointed nor, 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 nor happy. I mean, this is what I expected. I expected them to do what the law required and this is what was done. And uh, as has happened on, 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 on previous occasions, what we got to do in the Tobago context, we have no... Uh, way in which we can make too much fuss about it is that to utilize the resources that we have. Mr. London says the people of Tobago were expecting a lot more from this new government. We got to make a distinction between uh, funding allocated to the Tobago House of Assembly and funding to be spent in Tobago. Uh, so that we got to be very careful about the percentages. Uh, my calculation is that what we would have got for the Tobago House of Assembly is exactly what the dispute resolution commission would have given, which is 4.03%. So in other words, the government did us no favor there. They were legally bound to give us that. But normally there are other, there's other money that would be spent in Tobago under different ministries and under uh, different uh, authorities like WASA, etc. So that is what would have brought it up to 5. Point, uh, I think 2.5. However, Mr. Jack says once the issue of cost overruns can be reduced, Tobago will make the best of its allocation. For CNC3, I am Kamal Georges.